Hey, welcome to another edition of the MuniGov Guy GIS Leadership Lunch and Learn Show. Today we are going to discuss the benefits of GIS site visits. I am your host, Toby Soto. I am the blogger behind MuniGovGuy.com and I'm also the GIS manager for the city of Riverside in California. I produce these shows to help take you from good to great based on my experiences and also my discussions with GIS leaders in the industry. Um, my opinions are of my own and not of my employer. So, when was the last time you did a site visit to another municipality or service district? For myself, it's been a while. It's been at least about a year and a half. And we thought it was time to go ahead and start looking around and seeing what other municipalities and other places are doing with their GIS system. Uh, we've had some changes in management. We've had some changes in stakeholders. Uh, we are embarking on a major GIS upgrade, and so we wanted to see what other people are doing with their architecture, with the ArcGIS platform, what integrations and applications that uh, they're working with, and uh, some of the best practices. So last week I took the time, uh, a group of us went down to the city of Anaheim, uh, appreciate them hosting us there, uh, met with Reed Watkins of the utility department, and Chris Carter and Steve Lottis of the, your GIS Services Center that they have in, in Anaheim. And uh, again, uh, we had a great conversation, spent about an hour and a half, two hours discussing uh, a lot of GIS um, shop type things. You know, as I said, we were talking about architecture and staffing and applications, and we both benefited from this conversation, uh, not just Anaheim, but also ourselves in the city of Riverside. So I kind of want to go through what some of the uh, top benefits for GIS visits and uh, I think uh, you'll, you'll really enjoy the, the items that I have on for tap for today. So the first one I want to go through is, is relationships. You know, creating those partnerships and uh, creating that awareness of what other people are going through. Uh, it's, it's very, it's invaluable invaluable having those partnerships and um, having that face-to-face, -face, putting a, a face to a name and whenever you're out and about, whether at other social events, uh, GIS events, you know, you can go up to them, you can talk to them and, and just you just have that great camaraderie because you know who you're talking to. Also a lot of idea exchanges can happen and also a lot of brainstorming uh, at these site visits and you can also go into like a deep dive and so if there's a, a specific topic that you really want to dive into you know you, you've got the time so you can really just flush it out and, and see what the other uh, agency is going through and, and some of their solutions that they've uh, acquired along the way. The other area is integrations and solutions. Uh, the nice thing about a site visit is you can see live demos especially if they're demos, uh, if they're applications that are behind their firewall and you can't get to them outside of that. Uh, you can see the, the demos that they have, maybe they have some field applications. So it's nice to kind of just uh, sit there and, and watch and see how their applications work. Uh, you can see the pros and cons and also discuss the workflows because behind every application there's a lot of work that goes behind that. So you can kind of get the, uh, the, the real view of, of what's happening. Uh, another area that we'll, of discussion is the hardware and software architecture. Uh, you get to see their, their diagrams and, and compare your topology to theirs and discuss your, their current and, and future expansion of their architecture. And also a great discussion about high availability because there's so many ways that you can deal with high availability. <clears throat> and so it's kind of nice to see what other people have already uh, implemented in their shop and see if that's something that works within your environment. And then also talking about strategy and not least, but or last I should say, but uh, cybersecurity. That just seems to be such a hot topic right now, especially uh, with um, WannaCry and all these types of uh, ransomwares that are out there. You know, we really have to be cognizant about cybersecurity and, and what data that we're pushing out there and, and what applications and, how people can access that information, those applications. 
another area of benefit is the uh, we could talk about issues, uh, budgets, personnel, uh, political, a lot of political issues that, that we all have to deal with, and some people have been able to deal with them in, in certain ways, and that could be beneficial to you uh, in knowing how they dealt with a lot of those political issues. Uh, also dealing with software issues and uh, vendor issues. You know, uh, vendors are great. And but you know they're all always issues. You know, then there's certain uh, things you need to be aware of, and you would like to know how to deal with them. And so, if you know that up front, uh, you can be uh, even that much more prepared when you're ready to implement some type of application or, or going to some sort of project. Another area of topic is uh, best practices. Find out what workflows that uh, that agency is going through. Uh, to pro that they utilize their GIS with. Uh, also their integrations and implementations, what are their best practices in, in that area. Uh, maintenance and operations. Uh, there's, again, there's a lot of background detail that goes behind the uh, applications that are put out front. Uh, proposals and strategy. Great to know what kind of proposals they have, uh, maybe they can share, uh, and vice versa. And uh, another area is uh, on the administrative side, you have policies and procedures. Uh, that's very important to have in order to uh, have a governance around your GIS system. Uh, another area of benefit are, are references, uh, the vendor and also uh, level of effort and uh, requirements that go into any of the, the GIS systems. Uh, that's good things to uh, definitely have on tap. Uh, lastly, it really builds motivation. Uh, going off site, going to go see another place, uh, seeing what they've done, seeing what they, the challenges that they've uh, encountered and uh, accomplished. Uh, it really builds momentum and it builds motivation for yourself and for your agency to say, hey, you know, if someone else has done it, we can do it too, or we can even do it better. So it, you definitely walk away feeling motivated to, uh, to conquer a lot more with your GIS program. Uh, so that's it for this week's uh, GIS Leadership Lunch and Learn show. Uh, I hope this has actually motivated you to help get out of the office and uh, go visit your colleagues and uh, see what they have on tap. Uh, if this video has resonated with you, uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, also give it a share. And if there's something that appealed to you, definitely put it down in the comments. I'd love to read your comments and, and see what's working and, and not working for you. Uh, in closing, we all have a lot of information to share and the only way it gets out there is if somebody asks. So if there is some specific topic that you would like to see on an upcoming show, drop me a line. Uh, send me an email at uh, munigovguy at gmail.com you can uh, catch us also uh, uh, on the uh, the website at minigovguy.com. You can also catch us on facebook.com slash minigovguy. We're also at Twitter on uh, at minigovguy. And we're also, uh, as of May 2017, we have a LinkedIn group. It's called the uh, GIS Leadership Lab. So check it out. Uh, I'm posting a lot of information up there that uh, you normally won't see here or, or any other uh, site. So that's it for this week's show. Uh, you guys have a great day and I will see you next week. Take care everybody.